Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti and today I have a video showing how to make these cute little Sanrio candy gummy squishies um, out of materials that I got from my Sophie and Toffee box. So I hope you guys enjoy. And this is everything that came in the elves box, so you can take a look at that. So because we're going to make some squishies, we're going to make the clay templates first. So I'm going to start out with a ball of scrap clay and I'm going to flatten it out into an oval shape. And this is the basic head shape for all of our characters. And then I'm going to take some clay, roll it into a cone and cut off the end. And these will be the ears. And the first character will be Hello Kitty, if I didn't mention that already. And then what we're going to do is smush the ears together and then flatten out the pointy parts. And then we're also going to take some clay and pinch it into a teardrop shape for the bow. And what we're going to do is make the faces. So add some blush, some eyes, an oval nose, and the bow. So the next character we'll be making is Kuropi, the frog. So we're going to take a ball of clay and flatten it out. And we're going to place that on top of the head. And once again, we're going to add some pupils, some blush, and a line mouth in the shape of a V. For Pum Pum Pudding, we're going to take a ball of clay and flatten it out into a large teardrop shape. And we're going to place that on the sides of the head. And we're going to add an oval and a little dot for the beret and give it some blush and eyes as well. And an oval nose along with a little W mouth. For my melody, we're going to take a ball of clay and roll into a cylinder shape and flatten it out and cut off the end. And that's one of the ears. For the other one, we're going to bend it in half and cut off the end. And we're going to place that onto our head shape. Then with a needle tool, we're going to etch out an oval shape on the bottom of the head and we'll make that a little bit more defined. And we're going to add some circle blushes along with some dot eyes and an oval nose. Then for a pachaco, what we're going to do is take the head and we're going to pinch it on top so it's more of a triangular mound shape. And we're going to take some ovals of clay and we're going to place it on top of the head as ears. And we're going to give it some blush along with some dot eyes and an oval nose. And what we're going to do is then bake them in the oven according to instructions. And here are our five Sanrio clay templates. And we're going to make molds out of them, so I just used my mold maker and waited 24 hours for it to set. Next we're going to make the squishy compound. So I'm using the squishy compound that came in the Sophie and Toffee Elves box and mixing it in a 1 to 1 ratio. And it's kind of hard to see if you mixed it well just because it looks like one product already when you pour it in. So make sure you mix it just kind of excessively. And then I added the pigments, the squishy pigments that came in my box. I made white and red, well like a pink color, yellow and a green color. Next, I pour the squishy mixture into my molds. And unfortunately, when I try to take them out of the mold after 24 hours have set, it did not come out very easily. I did make this crystal one out of a prefabricated mold that I bought at a store and it came out super nice, so maybe just custom molds. So then for round two, I decided to do the same thing except using soft UV resin that also came in the Elves box. And I decided to pour that into the molds that I made instead of the squishy mixture. And instead of waiting 24 hours, I just cured it under the UV lamp for two minutes on both sides. And after it came out, it still does have a pretty good squish to it.
So then for the details of the face, I decided to mix some paints and paint on the faces with the acrylic paint that came in the elves box. And I just painted on multiple layers just to get a nice, good, like vibrant color to it. and it still has a pretty good squish. So next I'm placing the resin piece into the bag and I'm closing it with this heat stapler. Next I'm going to take some scissors and cut out the zigzag shape. The reason why I'm using scissors and not the crazy scissors that came in the box was because it wasn't like the even zigzag of the other side. And it's still squishing pretty good. So this is a totally optional step, but I decided to make five mixtures of resin and gave them some vibrant colors and we're going to use that to color in the ends of our little candy packets. So using a really cheap paintbrush, all I'm doing is painting on the ends and then letting that cure under the UV lamp. And finally we have all five of our pieces and I'm super happy with how they turned out. I only wish that the squishy material came out nicer so then these would be more obviously squishy than kind of a forced squishy. The soft UV resin though is amazing. I love it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe I will try to do the squishy gel one more time. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.